Life is going. Time is going. When will you manifest? You have one life to live. And that's the life of God. You have everything. But sir, no matter what we have, a day is coming. You will end up in one place. They call it coffin. They call it casket. It has no tire. It has no horn. It has no air conditioner. That's where they will drop you. That's if they like you. But then they carry you anyhow. You are driving a Jeep now. You have a Camry, a Toyota, a Corolla. But one day is coming. When you enter one thing, they fix you in there. It's called coffee. It's called the casket. At that day, while everybody is doing what they are doing, you already give an account of how you have lived your life. If it was spending time doing makeup that took your attention from worship. If it was spending time on internet fraud, coffee. Everybody will go there. Pastor will be there. Prophet will be there. Apostle will be there. Reverend will be there. Usher, protocol. Everybody will be in that coffin. Not just coffin. They will lower the person. Put him, put him, put him, put him. Put him here, he will be forgotten and never remembered. Put him here in the next six months, termite and ant would have eaten his body. At that point in the coffin, what you will be remembered for are the things you did for God in your lifetime. How you registered your name on the sands of time. How you shook hell. How many souls became saved through you. Or how many souls you discouraged from going to church. How many people you sat down, fellow Christian brothers, you destroyed them. You destroyed them, yet you were speaking in tongues. Because you lied to yourself that prayer is the key. Prayer is not the key. Love is the key. You lied to yourself that fasting is the key. Fasting is not the key. Fasting is a key. But love is the key. For by this shall all men know you are my disciples. When you love one another, I should come to church and the weakness of a sister or a brother, when she sees me, she feels strong. I should not make a sister feel more weak than she already feels. When I look at a brother, I should celebrate his strength, not his weakness. There is no priest without infirmity. There is no body without a challenge. My concern, what makes me your brother, is that I celebrate your strength. I am celebrating the good parts of your life. I'm not celebrating your weaknesses because I know every man is a work in progress. The Bible says in Galatians 6 verse 1 If a brother be overtaken in a fault Ye which are spiritual Restore such a one with the spirit of meekness Knowing that you also can be tempted If only in this life we have hope We have hope of all men most miserable Some are around 2019 If only they knew that when COVID comes Some are around 2021 This is 2022 Everybody's will One day One day When it comes knocking At the age of 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120 The coffee there are not two coffees made together. They will be separate. Everybody answer his own. Wife, all the, my love, my darling. No, answer your name. That's your girlfriend that refuses that because of that girl, you are not answering altar call. You will answer your name there. That's your boyfriend. You say you cannot pack out of his house because you have no accommodation. So you are living in the house of somebody you are not married to. You will answer your name. And God will show you what I'm, what I'm saying now. God will play it to you. There was a time I told you about the coffin, but your heart was hurting. 